resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A. Thank you for sending in those questions. We love them. Keep them coming. And as we always say with our trusty subscribe pillow, hit the button that looks a, bit, a little bit like this down there, please. Um, and show us your love and let's get us to a thousand subscribers. All right, on to today's question. So today we are at our uh, mobility engineering assessment and training facility here in Hornsby in front of our uh, wheelchair assessment and tie down rig, should I say. Um, and the reason why we're here is because we've got an interesting question which is around tying down wheelchairs. Um, and it's something that's coming up quite a lot uh, recently. So we're gonna give it a bit of coverage and talk a little bit about it. And the question is, do I really need six wheelchair tie down points? So how did that come about? And I guess what's happening? So I'll show you here what we're talking about. Um, so if we look at this wheelchair, we, this wheelchair is a Sunrise Medical Q400 um, or Quickie Q400 supplied to us from our friends at Sunrise Medical. Um, and what you will find is on this particular chair, there is six potential tie down points. Now this chair um, is not fully required to have six it's basically required to have four and on some conditions required to have six and this is what is causing the confusion because a lot of them are becoming like that so um, what does this I guess what's the point of what we're trying to say is yes you do need six if the manufacturer's instructions requires that you have six so sometimes um, because it's got a heavier seat back or it's got something that's a bit heavier on the top um, they'll also need to have tie downs for that top section which you can see that they've got here right so if there is six tie down points and the instruction says you've got to use six tie down points then that's basically what you have to do and sometimes people might be asking well why do we have to use six tie down points when we didn't have to before what you will find is because of the technology that's going into the wheelchairs these days and the batteries required and the infrastructure, I guess, required to hold it all together, wheelchairs are about 30 to 50% heavier than what they were about five years ago, if not more than that. Um, so wheelchairs are pushing well above 200 kilos now. And so the old system of four tie downs is just not cutting it. And you're going to have to add those extra tie downs if the manufacturer requires it. So always check the instructions. And the reason why this came about was we got an email that was from one of the manufacturers that basically said, hey, we've tested this and it needs to have six wheelchair tie down points. And the therapist forwarded that to us and said, is this actually the case? Do we really have to have six? Um, and yeah, well, it is. That's what they've said and that's how they've tested it. And it's because it's quite heavy. Now, uh, the reason why we've got this set up like here, and we will cut uh, away from the video in a minute and show you the next setup, is I guess this is a great moment to have a discussion about potential issues with tie downs and things to watch out for and the alternative. So one of the issues with having six is that you have six straps that you have to then negotiate and navigate. As you've seen videos before, you can't have bends or, or, or you know um, deviations in your path so that is six times um, problem solving that you have to do when you're tying this down that is six times tightening six times adjusting six times bending down and getting everything set up before this video was shot we set this up or I set this up for this um, video and it took me about 15 minutes to set it all up properly right so if you're in a rush or if you're on a trip or if you've got someone that's been helping you you know for a week and they're kind of a little bit frustrated that day the likelihood of them doing the wrong thing or not tying everything up properly or not doing it up or even not tying you up is quite high and we do get that quite a lot in this industry um, and so we tend to lean, especially if you're going to have six tie down points, we're going to tend to lean towards not using tie downs and we're going to tend towards leaning towards using a dock. Um, and we've got a dock here, which we're going to segue away. I'm going to clean all this up and I'm going to show you the dock in a sec. Okay, so here we are back again with the same setup. And what I've done is I've completely taken away all the straps and show you a situation which is going to be a lot easier. Um, a lot safer in terms of usability and in terms of crash testing this product this particular dock has been crash tested with this chair in all the different combinations and variations so this is a dial engineering dock um, and a lot of people have spoken about it we've done a few videos on it and I'm going to basically show you how it works in terms of locking this one in as compared to the tie downs where as I said you need about 10 to 15 minutes of mucking around as a minimum so with this one here what we do is we will sit in the um, 
in the wheelchair. On the bottom of this wheelchair, it's got a um, plate which is, sits under there, and that will make into this dock here. So if I'm in my in the back of my van or in my car, I basically come straight towards it. I line it up in the centre, and then what will happen is um, you will actually hear a bit of a beep. Oh, I'm just getting it stuck. Like that you'll hear a little bit of a beep. So that beep that you can hear, it says that it's engaged in the dock but it's not fully locked in. There's a little red dot there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it in, click it in place. Now I'm fully locked in place. No matter what I do, I can't move the wheelchair. It's fully locked in, fully secure and basically very, very um, safe in the event of an accident as well. Didn't have to tie anything down, didn't have to do anything. And basically when I want to undo myself, I just push a button and I reverse straight out. No dramas at all. So basically the answer to the question is do i really need or well, the question of do i really need six tie downs is yes if the wheelchair requires six tie downs and the manufacturers for that variation of wheelchair says that you have to have six tie downs then you must have six tie downs and make sure you prescribe six tie downs as well um, if you want to look at an alternative which is potentially safer and when you're talking about six tie downs it may even be cheaper is using just the one dock down the bottom there and that basically docks it in clicks it in no tie downs no mucking around you lock yourself in you drive you unlock yourself and you drive away very very easy all right guys thanks very much for tuning in for those questions um, and keep those questions coming and hit that subscribe button down there somewhere and we'll see you next time